Look at that fish. <laughs> that is a toad. Best fish of my life. Giants season two episode four coming back at you guys we are gonna be on the hunt for some giant bass today got my buddy Mark behind the camera not only do we have Mark but we have two special guests that are gonna be appearing at different times throughout this searching for Giants episode so if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the episode so far if you guys would like to check out episodes one through three we have big bass in all of them you can go check them out i'll leave them i'll actually pin a comment at the top of the comment section with all three of the links you can go back and watch them after this one but we're gonna catch some giants in this episode stay tuned you guys should already know exactly what i'm throwing for this fishing for giants episode but i'm gonna say it anyways it is the quake by six cents and guys this color is called brown eye usually in the late winter they start to eat some crawfish pattern traps um, we've had a lot of good luck on it the past couple of years in the january february time here in savannah georgia and uh, this color has just been killing it for me um i i don't understand why it catches as many fish as it does and the size that it does but the last couple of weeks i can't get a bite on any other color but this one so if you guys do want to check that out you can i'll pop a code on the screen for a discount and uh, i'll leave the link down below and also if you guys are wondering what i have this paired up on it's a Mach 2 by Luz with 17 pound fluorocarbon because we're catching the Giants today. Let's get it, boys. There we go, right there, about a pound and a half. Episode four, season two, first bass, nothing big, but we gotta start somewhere. Let's get him back in the water, go catch the giant. Beautiful fish. Let's go get a bigger one. We'll get one in the next couple casts. There he is, that's a better one. A little bit better. There we go. Literally a couple casts later. Got us another one on the six cents quake. And you guys know that color right there, that baby has been getting it done. This one's a little bit better than the last, but uh, pretty identical. About a pound and a quarter, beautiful fish. Look at this weird marking on him. It's almost like something bit him or I don't know what happened right there. There's still beautiful colors on a fish. Let's see if we can go catch some more. All right, boys, we are on, uh, we got two fish back to back to back. So, golly, one slap me right there. There he is. That's a better one. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, definitely better. They're almost twins, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if I can say he's better. That's uh, triplets right there, not twins. We got triplets up in the house. That is a, gosh, just a beautiful fish. If you guys look on his lips, you got that lipstick on. It doesn't really matter the size sometimes, guys. If you can just catch these beautiful fish, it's always a good time, but we're still going to be hunting for these giant bass. But that's a good little start to knock three off really quick. There we go, Jimmy. Thank you for biting. There he goes. We can hop out. What are you doing? Got you on the vlog. I'm on the vlog. Yeah, oh, on the vlog. What you got to say? That's Mark, by the way. Hey, nice to meet nice you. What's up, man? We're gonna go fishing today, man. Catch some uh, big bass. We're gonna we're gonna whack the big ones. Got Mark behind the camera out here. You want? I want to show Mark to the camera. This is who's been uh, filming for me today. Oh yeah. Uh, Mark knows how to work a camera. Tell him what you do. Oh, fly fishing guy. If you guys want to go check out his stuff, see his hat right here. I'm gonna link everything down below. If you guys are in the Beaufort, Hilton Head, Savannah area. This is the guy you guys need to call if you guys want to go saltwater fishing, red fishing, tarpon fishing, fly fishing. He is the man. We're going to go do it here soon. We're going to film some cool stuff. Yeah. So what you uh, tying up, homie? Well, I got a phone call and uh, 
he said go in Walmart buy some flukes well I actually have like three or four packs which are all right here oh oh you have you oh have, yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah, no, yeah I got yeah. some flukes <laughs> so I'm just going ahead tying on a weightless hook so that way I'll go ahead and be prepared I was trying to go ahead and get rigged up before you guys got here but I guess you were speeding on the way here so that's what we got I don't know what else we're gonna throw I've never seen these ponds before but it's a bunch of slop a bunch of slop mm, I don't know it's flute. 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 maybe maybe flute. like maybe a pink worm pink worms yeah. really good a weightless, weightless pink worm could be a Cinco. I'm ready. See the wind barely coming up in there, but that's just enough. To yeah, look at that grass. That grass is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at that boil behind me. He's got me. Let's go. <laughs> Woo that's how we want it right there i wasn't paying attention i look up there's a big boil behind me and that is a solid two and a half pound fish every bit of it look at that one adam <laughs> right there there's a little lesson always pay attention to what's going on because i looked up i saw a boil i killed it and he took off with it right there that is our best fish today not a giant but a solid bass let's see if we can go catch some more camera <laughs> yeah yeah, it's better. He might not be that good now. He was. Oh no, he came unpinned. He came unpinned right there. Dang. That was on the spinner bait. Oh my. Nah, dude. You were like, this. I was like, wait. I like had to set the hook like this. I was like, oh gosh. We're figuring something out, people. Was it? So he's throwing a spinner bait. I'm throwing the fluke. Um, something to get through this slop a little better. I think on this end where we just came, I could get away with the trap that I was throwing, the quake. But we're gonna keep continue with this. I mean, I just caught a good one on it. Can't really put it down now. Decent one. Three pounder. Whew. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I did not mean to knock him out like that. This water is semi-clear, so I think I'm gonna kinda reel it at a moderate pace. Because if I slow roll it too much, they're gonna be able to tell that it's not actually a bait fish. I'm thinking I'm... Oh, got one. Uh, about a three pounder. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that one. Chunky, chunky fish. Super healthy. That one was on the spinner bay. Look at that. Do you think that's about the size of yours, Noah? What do you yeah, think? It's about the same size. Chunky fish. Did he hit it? Yeah, yeah it was like right there. I mean, I didn't really have to fight him that much. They started pulling drag. I was like, oh gosh. Florida fish. Or it's like a Florida strain of fish. So strong. Oh gosh. It's under the pipe. Okay, two pounder on the quake again. That scared me, that really scared me. He ate it last minute. I tied back on the quake, brought out another rod. That color, man, just getting it done. There's not as much grass in here, we can get away with it, but that's a chunky guy. He ain't quite too, but he's pushing it. Nice little fish. Okay, thank you, buddy. right there I watched him look at all the mud he kicked oh my gosh that was a oh. yeah mm. snap my rod I knew I was about to break it right there I knew that was a bad move I knew that was a bad move that was all my fault you guys just watched me for the first time in eight years break my rod doing something stupid I just broke my, that was all my fault too. I should have never held my rod that way. Oh, it's all right. It's all good. It's fishing. It happens. 
I just can't believe I was stupid enough to do that because that is asking for a rod to break. We got a solid three pounder. Biggest fish today. That is a beautiful one. I knew he was about three, three to four pounds and that's about a three right there. Wow. That is awesome. So we're fishing right here. This is flat. Spooked a couple of fish coming up right on here. And uh, this one hit me like five, six times. Finally tanked it. Then he watched Noah be an idiot and snap his rod. <laughs> you guys better hit the like button on that one. All right. There she goes. Oh yeah. Let's go try to catch another one. Let's uh let's uh, fix this rod deal though. I cannot believe I was that stupid enough to do that. Oh. Oh, I got a big one. 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 You got a big one? Yo, how big? Oh, I got a big one. I got a very big one. It's huge. You want me to help you? Yeah, come here. I'm just slowly just dragging this one in, guys. How big? I don't know, dude, but he's pretty dang. Oh. You see him? Oh my gosh, that might be, that's your PB. I don't know. I don't know, but that's a big one. That's like a nine pounder. Oh, that might be 10. Oh my God, that's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, oh my God. Get him up to me, get him up to me, get him up to me. Grab it, grab it. Oh! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at that fish. <gasps> Adam? Adam? Think. Oh, that's a <laughs> massive fish. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. <sighs> look at the gut on that fish. Ah, uh, now that I'm looking at, he might be close. I, I think he's a nine. I think he's a nine too. Oh, I thought he was 10, bro. I don't know, but we do have a scale, so we're gonna stick him on the scale. I don't know. Come on, that's bigger than that one you caught at the beginning of this year, right? I don't know. I've caught a lot of big fish this past year. Oh my gosh. Let's get a weight on her. I snapped my rod. I caught a three pounder. Adolf said he got a giant. This might be the day that you caught that big one last year. Like that exact day. I was praying that he would hit nine. I thought he would. I don't know, when you had him right there, I seriously thought that was a 10 pound. Oh my gosh. Just had one right there. Big one sitting here somewhere. Yo. Literally, they're slapping it and then they finally commit it and they eat it. Gosh, two pounder. Nothing like A Dub just showed me. A Dub caught a hoss, but uh that's still, needless to say, that's a that's a decent little old fish. I got like the two pound fever right now. <laughs> I keep catching the two pounders, but we know they're in here now, so we just gotta keep casting. See ya, buddy. Yo, how are you? It looks good. Talk. Come on, talk to us, buddy. How is it? Yeah, man. <laughs> Pretty good, man. Is it hot? <laughs> got the, uh... no, it's not. Is it hot? Yeah. It's not hot this for man. him, but if I if I tried it, it'd probably be like <sighs> I like I like really spicy, burning burning a hole in your butt food. No 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 no. That's no, what I no, like. No. But uh, we take a little lunch break. You know, ate up over here catching giants. I'm over here catching small ones. You know, breaking rods. The usual. <laughs> I have a little special guest coming up in about approximately 10 minutes. He'll be walking up any moment now. But um, yeah, take a little lunch break.